Today I want to do a video on something that appeared on the web today called Google Glass. That's right, Google Glass. In fact, it's not that brand new. In fact, Google announced it at their IO developer conference about a year or so ago. And they gave uh, the ability of the developers there to pre-order it, but now that what they're doing is they're giving other people the ability to pre-order it, people who are non-developers. So I want to talk a little bit about that. Some of the cool features that you can see in the Google Glass and exactly how you can apply to get one. Uh, so let's, let's talk about it, shall we? So if you go to uh, besttechie.com, we actually have a write-up about this, and you can figure it. You can click the link there to get all the details on how to apply uh, to get Google Glass. The first thing you need to know is it's not free. If you apply for the Google Glass and you get selected, you have to pay $1,500 plus tax in order to be able to get it and be able to attend a special event in New York, San Francisco, or Los Angeles. So keep that in mind when you're applying. Second thing you need to know about applying is that the the deadline for the event is February 27th. So that means it's actually a week from today, so you better get cracking. You have to follow Google Glass on the Project Glass account on Twitter or on Google Plus, and then you have to post a message uh, a, a under 50 words, and you can include a 15-second video if you like on why you want to use Google Glass and what you plan to do with it if you get it. Now here's the cool thing about Google Glass and what I think is really interesting. The whole era of wearable computing is just... It's, it's, it's a really interesting topic that we're coming into. Apple's potentially working on the iWatch. Google has their Google Glasses. Uh, the fact that the way Google Glass works and the fact that it's so... The, the reason why I think it's so cool is just the fact that it really opens up a whole world that, that's just not available to you currently. Um, it, it almost in, again in real time. So you could be walking down the street and you can say, hey, take a picture of that. You don't have to whip out your phone. It just does it automatically. You can say, hey, record this video. Um, you can say, hey, Google Glass, translate for me how to say something. Um, it does, you know, just a whole number of things. It just, and if you watch the video, it's really, really cool. And I'll have a link for that down below, too. Now, when it comes to wearable computing, I, I, it's not a, something that I think is really going to take off right away. Uh, and uh, in fact, I expect you to say, "Hey, Jeff, that sounds so stupid. Who would want to wear glasses with like, with like a weird doodah on the side? Who would want to do that?" And I get, I get what you're saying, but at some point, it's going to become so small, you just, you're not even going to be able to notice that you're, that you're wearing uh, a wearable, a wearable computer. So, and, and I want you to keep that in mind because I think five, ten years down the road. I think it's going to become more commonplace for people to be wearing these wearable computing devices, whether it be a watch, whether it be your glasses. And frankly, I would I would wear the glasses. I wear glasses every day anyway. I might as well, you know, have a pair of prescription Google Glass glasses because I, I mean that just sounds cool to me. Now I would imagine that these devices would then also integrate with uh, with your smartphones. Uh, they don't that currently doesn't say how it works uh, specifically, but I would imagine you'll be able to network them back and forth. Um, via Bluetooth or um, you know potentially even Wi-Fi at one point once the uh, transmitters and stuff get small enough and the fact that they can put them in there for uh, that so it's cost effective but anyway uh, I just wanted to talk about you know Google Glass because I'm really excited about it. I just want to make this quick video share that you can actually apply to get them now just and remember it's fifteen hundred dollars plus tax if you are selected and again I'll have the link down below on how to apply if you're interested um, but yeah I, uh, this video is me just sharing my interest in this in this subject and also I want to get your feedback What do you think about wearable computing devices? Would you wear a, a smartwatch? Would you wear glasses that had uh, you know technology in them? Uh, is there anything else you consider wearing? Uh, you know a necklace, uh, a sh you know, whatever the case may be. Let me know leave a comment uh, Curious to hear more about your thoughts. So thanks again for watching. This has been best tech Comment until next time We'll see you and remember Take care of your computers, even your wearable ones.